Hello everybody. So this is a video showing you how you can use C types with Python. C types allow you to write and compile code in C, programming language, output as a shared object and the shared object can then be used with Python. So as you can see on the screen, top left I've written cdemo.c. That's just a comment obviously. If you're not familiar with C, that's an import. So hash include stdio.h then I've written void prompt. The reason it's void is because it's not returning anything. It is just printing to the screen, hello world. And um, print F with parentheses around the hello world and forward slash N for the new line. Semicolon to end the line. And then we've got the curly braces to enclose the print statement. Slightly different to Python. Obviously Python relies on indentation. C relies on bra curly braces and semicolons. Right. Once this C code is written, you then move across to GCC, which is the compiler for C. C is compiled, unlike Python, which is interpreted. So we've got GCC, then this, this command, which you can pretty much just copy. And the hyphen O means output. So the output is here, so cdemo.so. And the input file is cdemo.c. So as long as you pass in the name of the output file and the name of the input file, you'll be fine. And the, the Python code I've written here. So from C types, import CDLL. You may have seen an example online where they did import uh, what was it? Import star. Yeah, from C, uh, was it from C types import star, which is not really good practice, and you don't need all of that. You could just do from C types import cdll because cdll is all you need. Um, on the line below, you've got lib object. You can call that whatever you want. Cdll dot load library. So. That's what you need to use to load your shared object. Your shared object being what you compiled previously uh, here. So that here, that there, in your C compiler statement needs to match this. And if you're on Unix or Linux, then you probably just need to put in a dot and a forward slash for the file path. There's various other things you can do there, editing path, etc. But no need libobject.prompt. So libobject is the name of your object and dot .prompt here is, you guessed it, it's the name of your function across here in your C. So again, you don't, you can have many, many functions within your code here and then you could just do libobject.prompt, libobject.square <laughs> a number, libobject.prompt add two numbers together, lib object, much more complicated stuff obviously, this is as basic as it can be. Um, so if you look down below, that is my current directory structure, so I've got cdemo.c and pycdemo.py, and if we come back up to here, let's compile it, let's compile the C code, and if we do tree, you see I've now got a third file, cdemo.so, and that will then work when it's called the Python code. So let's go back across here and we'll do Python, pycdemo.py, and we've got hello world. So what it's done is Python has loaded the, the C, using C types, it's loaded the shared object, and it's accessed the function which lives inside the shared object. So hopefully that is as clear as you would need it to be to get started. Feel free to copy this code, modify it, tweak it, adjust it, whatever. And thumbs up, comment. This is a really, really basic example. It's, it gets way more complicated than this, I promise you. And uh, yeah, this is as quick as I can possibly make it. So thanks for watching and yeah, see you next time.